welcome back to my channel welcome back to a new episode of this series which is episode 8 in which we are going to learn how we are going to add branding to our agent and give it life right now if you have been following these series uh you must have created an agent created a messaging channel and deployed the agent to a website already but if you have just come here for the branding purposes that's also okay with that i am understanding that you already have an embedded service deployment for your agent because the branding has to be added there if you don't know how to create embedded service deployment and messaging channel i would recommend to pause here and go back to the episode 7 go there check out how to create messaging channel and embedded service deployment and i'll wait for you right here come back here and we'll create branding for your agent okay for everyone here who has already done uh, the messaging channel and deployment of your agent and has embedded service deployment uh, this is the page and this is how your embedded service deployment will look like let's just click on this and let me show you how we add branding to our agent let me show you the before of our agent and then we'll add branding and creativity uh, this is the home page of the website on which we have deployed our agent now this is how our agent looks like right now this black circle with a message icon and then the basic color combinations of black gray and white and nothing else right now it's time to add branding it's time to add our personal touch which makes our agent ours right this is not going to be a common agent this will be your agent correct now we'll go to embedded service deployment uh, we have used two of the options here code snippet option in the last episode and test messaging option before that episode now here you will see branding in which we can add colors, font, avatars and logo to reflect your brand's identity in the chart window which is very important for a business, right? Let's go to select branding and here you see these are all the options that you have for show your creativity, for show what you want to add in your chart window to attract your customer, to engage your customer and just for your website to look attractive right? we have a lot of options here let's go one by one we have primary color secondary color contrast color header header text header alternative then we also have font font size then we have images which is agent avatar bot avatar logo or chat button okay so what we are going to do is uh, for these images we'll have to create static resources Okay, because this image will need a URL. Uh, I already have a Agent Force Agent logo. I'm going to add that in a static URL and then we are going to add that URL in the branding part, right? Uh, let's say Agent logo in files. I am going to select this one. Okay. Oh no, let's select that one. Uh, uh, let's select this one. And cache control will be public because we want the visibility of it to be public. And we'll save it. Uh, okay, so name cannot contain space. Oops, one second, there's a mistake. The file got blank. Let's select it once again. Here's the file and we will save it okay once you create a static url you will have a view file link here you will click on the view file link and then we will have our logos url which we can actually use in our branding part right let's just copy this url and then we'll go to embedded service deployment this is our deployment let's select this one go to branding okay and let's just do uh, the changes one by one now that we have images as well we don't have to go back and forth to create the images that's why we have created the static resource first let's select the primary color to be i mean you can choose any color that you want i'm just selecting the color i like uh, the secondary color should be something in green contrast color Let's say this. Okay. Now comes the header color. I'm choosing header color same as the primary color. 
which is this now comes header text on this color white will be fine so i'll keep it as it is header alternative i'll keep it as it is it says select for the alternate header text and logo color so this will work when this will not work okay let's just be red that's okay for font we have some options you can choose any font let's say i will choose comic font size medium fine for me okay now comes the images right first is agent avatar let's paste it here okay then comes the bot avatar let's paste it here i will tell you which image comes where okay then comes logo i'm adding the same image image but you can use your creativity and use different images as well then comes the chat button okay now chat window dimensions this is the dimension i have decided but you can of course change it according to your website's design and uh, the requirement as well let's just save it once you do any change in embedded service deployment settings this is a rule that you will have to publish it again to reflect the changes on the website okay we are publishing it it will say we are processing it will take up to 10 minutes but because our changes are small i think it will reflect immediately let's go to our website again and see if it reflects the changes all sites i'll click on the url and let's hope we have our changes oh yes we have we have the color here yes we have it okay okay let us check it one by one okay so uh what we have added now here the first thing you see this is the chat button image that we have added okay now we'll click on it the header color you see we have added it here the header text is white it comes as white now the font you see is not the usual arial font because we have added comic sans font okay font size remains the same now let me say hey i am monica you see this green color this is because of the secondary color okay now this small icon right here this is the bot avatar that you see okay if you will not put the bot avatar it will take the first two initials of your agent's name and it will show it in the green circle so the secondary color with the two initials of the agent name will come if you have not added any bot avatar okay uh however this color this gray color remains the same there is no uh such color change option we have in embedded service deployment to change this gray color uh what else we have changed okay so the chat button is this button right now this logo image you see is this logo image okay bot avatar is this bot avatar okay, and the last image we have is the agent avatar image now what is that uh, agent avatar image is basically the human agent's image so when i say connect me to someone and if i'm online here on omni channel it will come here once i accept it it shows this monica r joined right you see this image right here this is the agent avatar image if you will not use this image here in embedded service deployment by default it will use the secondary color in circle and two initials of the agent's name and that's how you can set agent image that's how you can set bots image the logo and also the chat button okay now let me show you how uh if we remove this bot avatar what will happen okay let's remove this bot avatar keep it empty and save it we'll have to publish it again uh let's try and refresh it otherwise we'll have to wait for one or two minutes for it to reflect okay now here you see the small icon is no longer here because we have removed the bot avatar and because there is no bot avatar now it is using the secondary color and the two initials of the agent force agent name and it is showing here so this is how you can actually add branding to your agent this is how you can upgrade your agent in a way that it matches with your websites this is how you can be creative and put life into your agent right this looks more attractive you can use the website's color combinations the website's font family the font size that you are using 
uh, the chat window size that you want on your website and whatnot. This is what branding is all about. That is it for today's episode. I hope you found this useful and by now you know how to add branding to your agent and make it your own. I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, bye-bye, take care and keep learning.